Growing more and more frustrated with every passing minute, Valerie Ross arrived to the Rosa Parks Transit Center to a rather unpleasant surprise. I didn't know the situation of the buses until I got down here. What she thought would be a rather seamless and quick bus transfer so she could get needed medication turned out to be anything but. These times keep changing, the schedules keep changing, so I don't know when the bus is going to come. The reason? We had 50% of our drivers call in sick today. Right now we have about 70 buses on the road. It should be about 133 buses presently. A bus driver who didn't wish to have his face shown has an idea why so many of his colleagues called in today. One of our co-workers uh, end up dying. It's like a tradition if somebody in the DOT family or city employee, they always send out a bus to the family to, you know, show our support. But for some reason, they don't want to show that support. In the meantime, Ross and others are feeling caught up in the middle. We can't even get around our city now. Nobody's winning in this situation. Looking forward, a director for DDOT fully expects service to return back to normal tomorrow. Brandon Trutling, Channel 7, Action News.